I know uh, Le'Veon Bell sat out all of last year, but if if Zeke holds out, if here in D.C., if Trent Williams holds out, do you think they go by this Le'Veon Bell model? Is this going to be the model just to miss a whole season? Give up all that money? No, 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 no. That's, it's not happening with those guys. It's not happening with Melvin Gordon. Um, the, it, it's easy to say, like, oh, you know, we saw Le'Veon Bell miss an entire year. Anyone can do this. Le'Veon Bell is on his second franchise tag. You know, he'd been tagged once by the Steelers and played on the tag and then came back and got tagged again and decided, I'm not doing that. Um, and I understand that, you know, like, Trent Williams is a little different because, he, you know, he negotiated his contract. He just doesn't trust the team or whatever anymore. Um, Zeke Elliott, you know, he had a, it was a CBA-negotiated deal because of the, the rookie slot, but he still signed and he still made a bunch of money. Uh, I understand what he and Melvin Gordon are trying to do. They're saying, listen, you know, we know you're going to tag us. You might. Uh, tag us twice and then dump us in free agency. And so we're going to try and, you, you know, use now to get our money and, and maximize our leverage. But the bottom line is they stand to lose so much money off their regular contracts and potentially have a, you know, have the season, um, you know, they, they have to play a certain number of games in order to not have the contract hold for an additional year. So, uh, you know, they, they got to get that service time in. So to me, it would be a shock if either of those guys actually hold out but I understand why they're doing it because they don't think correctly that the Cowboys and Chargers respectively are interested in handing them a big brand new contract. And they're not. I mean, those teams want to try and run these running backs into the ground and then potentially let them walk into the agency. Right. And well, you can't blame them. I'm, I'm taking this from Warren Sharp at Sharp Football. He tweeted this on July 12th that the, the highest paid running backs in the league right now, at least for the last season, were Gurley, David Johnson in Arizona, Freeman in Atlanta and McCoy in Buffalo. Those guys have yep. either missed like half of seasons with injury. McCoy is clearly not the player he was. You just you can't pay these running backs huge sums of money and then expect them to keep producing at the level or not get hurt and miss half of a season. It's smart yeah, on the and, team's part. Well, and and like we we love those the, those group together and that's fine. But look at the salary disparity. I right. mean, the top three running backs are Gurley who has an arthritic knee and may or may not be able to ever play football at his high level again. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, who just had to fight for two years of a franchise tag to get to free agency and then signed a deal, um, you know, uh, w- with the Jets, obviously. Uh, and, and, you know, and then there's a big drop-off, right? And then David Johnson's at $13 million too. Um, he signed a, a very early deal. I mean, he, wasn't, you know, he, was, he was a third-round pick who was trying to get himself some cash in his pocket. And then you have, uh, you know, those three guys are at 13-plus. And then you have McCoy and Devonta Freeman who are at like eight, eight, eight or eight and a half. I mean, so there's a huge gap. Now, that makes it kind of interesting because I think, at least in the case of Melvin Gordon, the Chargers can go to Melvin Gordon and say, listen, we have your fifth-year option coming up at $5.6 million. We can tag you next year and one more year after that, and that's going to get our total to about 30 or $31 million. So here's what we're willing to do. We will give you a two-year extension for a total, like, you do a two-year extension at $26 million, and you give him a two-year extension at $26 million, plus his $5.6 million this year. So you, you basically get him to a three-year $31 million extension. Now, that's a lot of money, but it's not outrageous money for a running back. It's a short contract. It slots him in between those two, between those two, team, between those two guys, the $8 million and the $13 million guys, and it lets you move on without having to deal with um, you know, this off-season nonsense and put some money in Melvin Gordon's pocket. I, I think that's what's going to happen with the Chargers. I, I would say the same thing is going to happen w- with the Cowboys, but I think the problem is Zeke Elliott now has led the league in rushing two out of his three years as a, as a starter in the NFL. He's led the league in rushing yards per game all three seasons of his career, you know, except for that second season he was suspended by the NFL. I, I don't think Zeke Elliott is going to be willing to take less than David Johnson or Le'Veon Bell when it comes to his contract. So that could become a sticking point, at least for those guys. Mm-hmm.